Have you ever pondered over the question, is mathematics an invention or a discovery? This query, seemingly simple, holds within it the essence of a centuries-old debate. A debate that has been passionately argued among mathematicians, philosophers, and scientists alike. Is mathematics a human invention, a creation of our minds like art or music, or is it a discovery, a universal truth that exists independently, awaiting to be uncovered? It's a question that challenges our understanding of reality, of how we perceive and interact with the world around us. On one hand, we have the argument of invention, which suggests that mathematics is a product of human intellect and creativity. On the flip side, the argument of discovery posits that mathematics is a fundamental truth of the universe, waiting to be unraveled by curious minds. Join us as we delve into this fascinating debate and weigh the arguments on both sides. The first perspective we'll explore is mathematics as an invention. Let's dive in. Imagine the earliest civilizations when humans first began to settle and trade. They needed a way to keep track of their goods, so they invented counting. They used tally marks, or symbols, to represent different quantities. This was the birth of arithmetic, the very foundation of mathematics. Here, it seems clear that humans invented this aspect of mathematics as a practical tool to make sense of their world. Fast forward a few thousand years to the great architectural wonders of the world like the pyramids of Egypt or the Parthenon in Greece. These marvels were not built by chance, they were meticulously planned and constructed using geometric principles. Architects and builders invented these mathematical principles to design structures that were both aesthetically pleasing and structurally sound. Now let's consider the realm of science. Mathematics plays an integral role in the study of our universe, from the smallest particles to the largest galaxies. Take for instance Sir Isaac Newton. He didn't just discover gravity, he invented calculus to explain its workings. He needed a new mathematical language to describe the motion of the planets and the fall of an apple. Reflecting on these historical examples, we see a pattern of humans inventing mathematical concepts and tools as they were needed. We needed to count, so we invented numbers. We needed to build, so we invented geometry. We needed to understand the universe, so we invented calculus. But remember, this is just one perspective. While it may seem that mathematics is a purely human invention, it's also possible that we are merely uncovering truths that have always existed, just waiting to be discovered. The line between invention and discovery can be blurry, and the debate is far from settled. So, from this perspective, it seems that mathematics is a human creation, invented out of necessity, and refined over time. Now let's shift gears and look at mathematics as a discovery. Imagine this, a vast, infinite landscape of truth, untouched and waiting to be explored. This is the world of mathematics according to those who believe it is a discovery. They argue that mathematical truths exist independently of us, and what we are doing is not creating them, but uncovering them. To illustrate this, think about the golden ratio. This mathematical constant, approximately equal to 1.618, appears repeatedly in nature. From the spirals of sunflower seeds to the proportions of a nautilus shell, the golden ratio is there, independent of human influence. It's as if nature herself has a mathematical blueprint. And then there's pi, this irrational number, the ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter, pops up in many places that have nothing to do with circles. It's in the physics that describes waves, the geometry of the Great Pyramids, and even in the probability theory. It's hard to argue that humans invented pi when it seems to have been present in the universe long before we started counting, not to mention the mathematical structures that have been found in the cosmos. The Fibonacci sequence, a series of numbers in which each number is the sum of the two preceding ones, can be seen in the arrangement of branches along the stems of plants and in the spiral galaxies in outer space. It's as if the universe itself is a mathematician, creating and following its own mathematical rules with humans merely playing catch-up. This perspective views mathematics as a universal language, a code that underlies the fabric of the universe. We are not the authors of this language but rather, we are its interpreters. We did not create the Pythagorean theorem or the law of gravity, we discovered them. They were there all along, waiting for us to find them. From this perspective, it seems that mathematics is a universal truth that we're merely uncovering. Having seen both sides we find ourselves at a crossroads. The road diverges into two contrasting yet compelling perspectives, each offering a unique take on the nature of mathematics. On one hand we have the argument of mathematics as an invention, a human creation. Advocates of this perspective view mathematics as a language, 
a tool that we've crafted to describe the patterns and phenomena we observe in the universe. They argue that just as we've invented languages to communicate, we've invented mathematics to quantify and make sense of the world around us, but like any language, it's subject to change, evolution, and interpretation. On the other hand, we have proponents of the theory that mathematics is a discovery, an inherent truth of the universe. Here, mathematics is seen not as a language, but as a fundamental reality that exists independently of human minds. These advocates argue that we didn't create mathematics, but we're simply uncovering its truths, much like an archaeologist unearths ancient artifacts. These two perspectives bring a depth of complexity to the debate, causing us to question our understanding of mathematics and its role in our world. Both sides offer valid points, making it difficult to definitively lean one way or the other. This debate ultimately boils down to one's personal belief or philosophical leaning. Is mathematics a human-generated language that helps us navigate the universe? Or is it an inherent truth of the cosmos waiting for us to uncover its secrets? These questions challenge us to ponder the essence of mathematics and its place in our lives. Regardless of where you stand in this debate, one truth remains undeniable. The profound impact of mathematics on our lives and our understanding of the world. From the simple calculations that help us manage our daily lives to the complex equations that propel scientific and technological advancements, mathematics is an integral part of our existence. Whether you believe mathematics is an invention or a discovery, one cannot deny its profound impact on our lives and our understanding of the world. So, we return to our initial question, is mathematics an invention or a discovery? We've journeyed through the fascinating realms of both perspectives, each with its own compelling arguments. On one hand, seeing mathematics as an invention implies that it's a human creation, an ingenious tool we've crafted to make sense of our world. On the flip side, considering it a discovery suggests that it's an inherent part of the universe waiting to be uncovered and understood. It's a question that invites us to delve deeper into our understanding of mathematics, of our world, and of ourselves. There's no definitive answer, as it's largely a matter of personal belief and interpretation. It's a conundrum that can ignite sparks of curiosity and wonder, encouraging us to think, question, and explore. Regardless of where you stand on this debate, the beauty and power of mathematics remain undeniable. Thank you for joining us on this thought-provoking journey.